Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tina with Plentiful Farm Life, and today we're going to dive into goals. Um, it's past time for me to dive into checking in my yearly goals, checking in last quarter's goals, setting new goals, and getting things rolling. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. And I hope that you are checking in on your quarter goals and setting monthly and weekly goals to help you um, reach your end goal. Because when we break them down, that's how we reach the bigger goals. So um, because this is going into quarter four, I am going to do a light check-in on my yearly goals and then check in on my quarter three goals and see how well we're doing. Um, so this is what I set up at the beginning of the year for my quarter or my yearly goals. So for personal the scripture writing, um, that one went by the way. Um, I am doing Bible study. I am reading. So I think I'm going to just reassess these at another time and we're just going to cancel that out. Uh, my Master Gardener um, stuff. This has been going great. Let's go over to health. So health, did I lose 30 pounds? No. Stretching, I am doing that. It's helping huge. Um, reducing my sugar, I have reduced it. Not to the point I would like it to be, but I'm getting. Um, so down to finance. Our HELOC is not paid off. It's been a roller coaster. Um, increasing savings. Some are increasing. Some haven't been touched yet. Uh, restart funding sinking funds. That one's been a bit challenging. Just like everybody with the economy, it's just been really, really hard. Um, because as soon as it comes in, it goes right back out. Um, refund or, you know, put more into my emergency fund. Again, that one is a struggle because we are um, trying to, you know, do all the things and everything is just so much more. So start using cash again. I do use that as much as possible. So um, quarter three goals. What did I do and what did I not do? Um, so personal, continue scripture reading. Um, I have learned quite a bit this spring and summer about some herbs and plants. So, um, yeah, we're going to consider those wins. Um, keep off on supplements. We're going to move that one forward, lower sugar, um, move that one forward, move. So I'm going to stretch daily and work out about three times a week. Um, so I've been doing, I'm going to say that's been doing well, but I'm going to move the whole thing because I really want to keep this going. And, um, for finance, I use cash when possible. I've been working on savings and I, the, um, by doing this, so paying down the HELOC, it has not paid down, but I have made big payments and we've had to turn around and charge things on it just like everybody else. So <laughs> we're going to keep moving that and hopefully we can really start socking things away um, at it. So um, restructure planning and goals. Um, I am restructuring. And so this is a, a work in progress. So we are still working on that. Um, consistent videos, um, working on this. So I'm going to consider that, you know, I'm, I'm coming back to it. So I'm going to consider that a a good win. Uh, post on Instagram again. We're just gonna cancel that out and then grow Etsy content. Um, now we are to quarter four, and I'm gonna be kind of vague on um, the quarterly goals, more specific on the um, weekly or monthly goals because I have monthly and then I have monthly and then I have a box for each week so each week I can break it down even further into micro steps so to speak
Okay, so there is that. Um, so I have my quarterly four and I have my September goals. I will be working on um, the weeklies. I obviously, the first week is pretty much almost gone because I am a little behind. <laughs> so I will be starting with week two, three, and four, and then I might just do a review so that I can roll some of this into September. So um, as far as where these go, I keep my, this is my Franken planner, and I keep my um, yearly goals in there, and then I put my quarterly goals in here. And I need to take August out. Um, and then I will put my monthly goals in here and right behind it. So there is my updated goals. Um, hopefully this kind of encouraged you and spurred you on to set goals for yourself and then break them down because it really helps if you can check in on your goals break your goals down to more manageable uh, steps in that, and then you can progressively make your way to those bigger goals. So I hope this helps you. I hope this inspires you. If you have um, ideas on things you would like to see that maybe aren't overdone or out there, let me know. And um, I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.